You know how sometimes you have those kids with ear problems? They have a small ear canal or they have problems with the tubes and whatnot. Well, we figured out something uh, and it's very handy. It's called the Elephant Ear Wash. This thing is awesome. So I stumbled upon this contraption one day when I took my son, who was having ear problems, uh, to the doctor. And she pulled this little bad boy out and uh, continued to use it on his ear, flushing his ear out. It just flushes is what it does. It's got a little, small little uh, tip here. And when you squeeze it, all it does is shoot it out. It creates uh, manufactured pressure. So what you want to do is, this came with it as well. I bought the whole kit. It was probably about 40 bucks all together, these two together. You can get it on Amazon or whatever. This is little ear, um, it, this catches the fluid that comes out of the ear and catches the fluid that you're spraying out at the same time. I got my son here and we're going to kind of demonstrate how it works. The, this right here, you could probably buy the elephant ear wash by itself, but I would get the, I would get this little uh, container as well because it fits neatly under his ear, right? And then, of course, when you spray, it goes in and out. So what we do is, is uh, per instructions, and you can just follow the instructions on the bag, but it's really neat. You're taking hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, alcohol, and water. So what I did was I took and measured just this area, divided it by three, and now I had my thirds. Hydrogen peroxide, alcohol, water. A little, water is not gonna, a little more water than normal is not going to hurt anything and it works perfectly. And of course, you want the water to be warm, pretty warm, not hot, but warm, because you're gonna be shooting it against his uh, or her uh, ear, in their ear canal. And you could cause some dizziness if it's too cold, cause some problems there. So, and I don't mean bad problems, you just, it's better if it's warm, per the instructions, obviously. So, here's what I did. I mixed it together, it's already ready to go. And we're just gonna get it going. Okay, now, we're gonna put it into his ear and start squeezing. I want you to close your jaw. Mm -hmm. Put it inside and slowly start to squeeze it slowly. And you just start to squeeze it up in there. And that little, that small little jet does a really good job at kind of moving the, any ear wax or, uh, around. Ooh, we already had a little bit come out. Nothing major, but some small particles. And so, we're gonna to continue to go a little bit. And you kinda of just angle it around as you're squeezing it. You got a little shield here to kinda of protect your fingers from the fluid coming out. You doing okay? Mm-hmm. Doesn't hurt or anything? Nope. Okay. 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 We're going to switch ears now. We've got a little more than half left over. So we're going to try to use one bottle per kid per set of ears. So we put it in his ear. Hold it right there. Okay. And we just slowly start spraying. If there's any discomfort, I generally, uh, they tell me and We'll stop or we'll fix it or something, but most of the time there is pretty good. It doesn't seem to hurt them. It might be a little awkward at first because, well, you're kind of pressure washing your eardrum, feels like. Get your mouth closed, close uh -huh. your jaw. Sometimes that helps them with any discomfort if they close their jaw. And so you move the tip and angle in however you need to, to kind of flush out any particles, anything that's already in there, okay? So, his ears are pretty good. What we try to do here is probably every six months or so. It's just good practice to go ahead and, you know, flush out those ear canals and make sure that uh, they're okay, that they're not hurting 
And I know that sometimes we, we as parents really wonder if our kids are really listening to us. Can you hear me? What if they couldn't hear you, right? Like physically. We know that there's selective hearing going on sometimes, but what if it's a physical issue? Well, this thing's great, and uh, I would recommend it, we would recommend it, and um, it's a simple little tool. It's a trick. It's something for parents. It empowers you and I as parents to be able to take care of our children better. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a great tool. If you'll just buy it, go on Amazon and get it. I know peop many people don't buy things because they're like, well, we don't need it right now. But then the minute your kid has an ear infection or their, their ear hurts, you're like, man, I wish I had that. Well, by then, you, you can't wait a week or two to get it in. So I would just go ahead and order it right now. It's pretty awesome. And I'm not making any money off this. Nobody's paying me. I'm just trying to recommend something that's worked wonderfully for us. So, you know, it's a product that really could, you know, cost you a little bit of money, like 30, 40 bucks right now, but it'll save you or it could help save you a doctor bill. I mean, that's great. Plus, here's another use for it. Let's say you go to the lake often. You're swimming. What do you what, what do you do with your kids and your ears after you swim in the lake or somewhere uh, out in the uh, in the wild? You go get what? Alcohol and water, and you put the drops in their ears, right? It's the same idea, except for because of the tip on there, it, there's force that's pushing out anything that may be causing some issues, whether it's wax or bacteria, and so. It's a great product. I would recommend it. If you if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, click like, and um, we'll try to have a few more things. We have one or two more gadgets that we use that have really helped us over the years with, with all of our kids. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. Subscribe or like to these videos if you like them, if they're helpful. If not, that's fine. Thanks for your time. We'll see you.